Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, it's been a minute. I have been so, so busy with wedding stuff. It's crazy, we are in wedding month. And I just thought this time would never get here and it's finally here and I just am trying to tie up some loose ends and meeting with vendors and just finalizing things. So that's where I've been, but I hope you guys have been having an awesome fall because I was gone for half of the month and um, I hope September was awesome for you. It was awesome for me and that you are off to a great start to your October. Um, so today I'm going to be sharing a Halloween haul with you guys and then at the end of the video I'm also going to be sharing my dining room as it stands right now. Well really it's more my tablescape on my dining table. I have it decorated in a very elegant Halloween inspired way. It's definitely more elevated and um, classy and not so much gory or spooky or vintage or anything. So hopefully it'll be good inspo for those of you who are not super into Halloween, but maybe you want to just like make it feel a little bit more Halloween appropriate, but I am going to spookify that room and that uh, tablescape will definitely change. So I just thought I would share it with you before I switch it up just to give you some ideas and uh, more options. But before we get into the tablescape and the haul, I wanted to mention that today's video is a collaboration with Holly from Simply Lake and Lace. I'm sure many of you guys already know her and love her. Uh, she is an amazing YouTuber. I'm gonna link her channel down below and if you don't already know her, please go check her out, check out her video. She's also gonna be doing a Halloween decorating video so you don't wanna miss it. I've already seen what she's done and it's, it's so good. Um, and I have to be honest, I was really flattered when she reached out to me and asked me to collaborate because I have house envy of her. She has the cutest house. It is so, the, the architectural style of it is really cool. It's very modern in some ways, but then it's very rustic at the same time. And I adore that her home is like filled with antiques and thrifted items and everything seems to have a story. And I just, I love that, but she also incorporates things from Target and Kirkland's and those kind of places. So I just, I really love her style. I'm excited to share with you guys. I'm super excited to be collaborating with her. So if you're coming over from Holly's channel, welcome. My name is Kristen and I also do decorating on my channel just like Holly. I do um, home tours, home decor hauls, decorate with me's and shop with me videos for the seasons and I am fall obsessed. I'm Christmas obsessed too. So that'll be coming up before we know it. So you are just in time for all of that. And I would love it if you would subscribe before you head out, if you enjoy this video. So big thank you to Holly for collaborating with me. I know you guys are going to absolutely adore her. So definitely again, check her out. She's linked down below. Now let's get into the decor. All right. So first thing I want to share with you guys, I'm obsessed with this. It is this paper mache vintage inspired jack-o-lantern that I ordered off of Etsy from the shop Creepy Cute Creations. I'm gonna link it down below. I wanna say this was $15, um, which is a really fair price for something that is handmade and such good quality as this is. The customer service uh, for the shop is impeccable too. They immediately sent me a message when they got my order and said we're shipping it out tomorrow. They followed through, shipped it the next day. I had it like two days later. It was it was insane. And um, it came in perfect condition. They threw in a couple extras. And I have to be honest with you guys, my friend James started this shop. I met him through my Instagram channel. We chit chat over on Instagram quite a bit. He's so awesome. He had no idea that I'd be shouting him out. I purchased this myself. I purchased it under my personal Etsy account. He didn't know it was me. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm just sharing this because it was sent to me or because he's a friend. I really think that he has an incredible talent and his customer service blew me away. And again, he had no idea it was me. So this came so quick in perfect condition. Like I said, he had it wrapped up in this cute Halloween scarf, which was like an added bonus. And then as just like another little extra bonus, he put this handmade ornament kind of vintage inspired also. He hand painted this. It's on like a paper fan background, very vintage looking. I love the bow, the, it's just incredible. Um, and he said that this is a prototype for something to come in a shop. So he sent that. And then he also put a handwritten card into um, the order as well. And 
again from the looks of his card he had no idea it was me so not like I'm a big deal or like I could do a whole lot for him but I'm just saying it's not he didn't he didn't do all this because it was for somebody that he knew. He just did it because he's an awesome business owner and he wants to make his customers happy. And I'm gonna decorate with this card too. So he, his shop and his Instagram, they're all gonna be linked down below. Definitely go check it out. So next up, I have started a little collection of copper jack-o'-lanterns and this is my newest addition. These are so nostalgic for me. Um, my parents had things like this. I don't know exactly what it was, but when my mom came over to my house and she saw my big one, I feel like she almost got choked up because it was nostalgic for her too. So um, I love that this is beautiful and also nostalgic. It's just the total package for me. This came from Home Goods for $6 and you may have seen this in my fall home tour. I've not had a chance to haul it, so I wanted to share that with you. Also from Home Goods, I grabbed this kind of vintage inspired book. It says Book of Spells. It has the moon, the vintage witch, um, and it's actually just a little box, one of those little numbers. This was $7.99, and I thought I could prop it up or I could put it on its side because the spine of it's really nice too. So I'm definitely gonna be using that. This is my biggest piece and I love it. I feel like I'm lucky that I scored it and it is this easel sign from Michaels. It has a lot of different elements that I've been drawn to recently, like the cat, the vintage jack-o'-lantern, the moon, and it's just really nice. It does have a kickstand, but my dog jumped on it and it fell off. Um, but this was $21.99, I got it 40% off. And originally I had hauled a bunch of candy corn stuff and I'm still gonna use that, that's all of it. It's just gonna be sprinkled throughout the room, but I'm just also incorporating this vintage style. And I feel like the candy corn and the vintage stuff go really well together. So I can't wait to put this out. I'm gonna try to maybe just glue the kickstand back on. We'll see how that works out. Okay, sorry guys. I literally got up because my foot fell asleep because I'm like sitting on it weird and I got a drink of water to walk it off and I spilled on myself so if you're wondering if I like drooled or something no it's just water um so where was I hopefully I don't forget to show you guys anything because this is my second time filming it all right so let's move on to Amazon I picked up this box of candlesticks you get 12 of them and I want to say they were $12 these are just black real taper candles. I was having trouble finding black ones in store, so I just ordered from Amazon because they have literally everything. And you guys are going to see these on my dining room table, so um, I thought I would just mention that they are from Amazon in case you're wondering when you see uh, that portion of the video. I also ordered this set of vintage inspired pillow covers. You get five of them, and I wanna say, that they were $21. Um, there's one that I don't really like, but I, I thought four for $21 was fair. Uh, so I have just one in a pillow insert already, and it is this one here with the vintage jack-o'-lantern and the cat. The um, quality of these is not the best. The material is thick and sturdy. Uh, it kind of feels like a burlapy material. It's just that the zipper is a little bit flimsy. Uh, they're definitely okay to buy. Just be careful putting the insert in. And these were in low stock when I purchased them, which was just like a day ago or day or two ago. Uh, so I don't know if they're still available, but I'll try to link them if they are. If not, I'll put something similar. It also comes with this one, with the little girl carving a jack-o'-lantern with the cat. There is this one. This is the one that I don't like because it reminds me more of Christmas. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's like the red or something or like the candlestick. I'm not sure, but this is the one that I probably will not be using. Um, I love this one with the little witch holding her cat and the jack-o'-lantern. A lot of them have a cat and jack-o'-lantern theme, so they're pretty cohesive and you could kind of like sprinkle them throughout your room and have them all look like they match, of course, because they're a set. This one has the old time couple dancing next to the giant pumpkin. She is a fan. She is a sassafras with that fan. And then this is my second favorite right next to the cat. It is this little, 
I guess a witch or like a kid in a witch costume with again a cat and a jack-o-lantern. So um, I'm already using one of them in my dining room. You'll see that in the dining room portion of the video. Um, I'm pretty happy with them, especially for the price. I don't think you can really beat five pillow covers for $20. Really, you're not gonna get that kind of deal anywhere else. So next up, my friend Sherry, I'm gonna link her Instagram down below because she has an Instagram and really cute decor. She sent me these uh, little cauldron string lights. Some of them, if you can see, are jack-o'-lanterns and then some of them have just like the little holes in them. They do light up, I just don't have batteries in them. She found these at the Target dollar spot. They come in a bag like this for $3. Uh, and she sent these to me because she just had a feeling that I wanted them and she was right. So thank you so much, Sherry. Uh, her and I are great friends. We talk all the time. So I was really, really thankful that she sent these to me. Um, and I can't wait to start decorating with those. Okay, last shout out of the video. It's just that I've had so much inspiration from other people and help from other people getting the things that I want. And it's just been um, a really incredible like fall and Halloween decorating season. As cheesy as that sounds, but I mean, it's the little things this year, right? But my friend Jen was shopping at like a little vintage type store in her town and she sent me pictures of these and I asked her if she could get me this one. So I believe she said this is a Bethany Low piece it was $5, it's a little cat, and uh, Jen, the show 78 on Instagram, you've got to go check her out. She has the most beautiful French country style. Uh, she called it a peewee bucket. So I don't know if that's the official name for something like this, or if Jen is just like the cutest person in the world and just made up that name, but um, she got me this, or she, I paid her for it, but she sent it to me, and I'm really excited to decorate with that, because you can see I have a bunch of cat stuff. Moving on to Walmart, I just grabbed a couple things. I grabbed this pom-pom banner for $3.98. I grabbed a lot of banners. I actually forgot to share one of them with you. I also grabbed these straws in the stripes. These are 98 cents each, and that's all that I got from Walmart. I forgot to show this banner from Amazon. It is from the Martha Stewart brand. It just says Happy Halloween in black and you have to put it together yourself but it's just stringing a ribbon through these little banner flags it's like a chalkboard with this coppery orangey metallic text there's even like purple on it almost like a galaxy sort of a look or like potion mist i don't potion potion mist i don't know what that is but um yeah so i grabbed that that was like six bucks and then the last place that I went was Dollar Tree. I'm sure you guys have seen all this stuff. I grabbed one of these or two of these cloches. Not sure if I'll be able to use these for Halloween, but I will save them for another season if not. I also grabbed this new banner that they have. It's all tangled up. Um, like I said, I went a little bit banner crazy. Uh, so it looks like this. It's felt. It says happy. This side is very tiny, but this will probably be perfect for the little fireplace I have in my dining room or maybe somewhere else, I don't know. And then this says Halloween. I have to straighten it all out, but I love that it's in felt because it'll actually last a lot longer than like a paper one, I would say, or a cardboard one. I also found this card that has the vintage look to it with the jack-o'-lanterns and the cats and then there's like hanging apples up here it's just the cutest thing and it says wishing you a halloween filled with gold gold good old-fashioned fun so it's definitely meant to have that old-fashioned vibe i'm gonna decorate with this it's just so perfect i had to grab it and then the last thing is this little cinnamon broom have you guys seen these at dollar tree i've seen them at like kroger before this year was the first time I ever discovered these um, anywhere, let alone Dollar Tree. You guys will have to let me know if you always get these, if you've seen these for years, but this is the first year I've ever seen it. It just has a, a very strong cinnamon smell to it, but because it's little, I feel like it's not gonna be overwhelming. So I grabbed a couple of these. I think I'm gonna put one in my car um, and maybe one in my entryway just to kind of make it smell fresh. Or you could hang this or put it on a wreath at your front door too, so that when your guests come in, it smells really nice. 
Uh, I feel like there's a lot you can do with this. Plus it looks like a little witch broom, so it's really cute. Oh my gosh, a super easy DIY would be to just grab like a stick from your backyard and attach it to the top of this to make it like a tall broom. You guys, I should make Halloween DIYs, but I just don't think I have the time or the energy this season. Okay, so that was it for the decor haul portion. Now I'm gonna take you into the dining room to share sort of the subtle, elegant Halloween vibe that I have in there for my tablescape. And hopefully it will inspire you whether you love Halloween decor or you're somebody who's just kind of neither here nor there and you're just looking for some simple inspiration. Um, and again, it's gonna get spookified, as I said. We're gonna add all this stuff probably into that room and my entryway in a future video. So I hope you guys like my dining room and I will see you back here in a minute. Okay, so now to show you guys my for now Halloween tablescape. This could very well change. This is kind of like the prelude to Halloween. I just kind of added bits of black in here to give it more of a Halloween feel. This is very similar to what I had out for the fall. So um, first I did put one of my pillows out. I think it looks really cute on this chair. I'll probably put another one on the other head chair, but it definitely makes you feel like Halloween because it has the jack lantern and the black cat and then it ties into the rest of this which I feel like is more elegant and elevated than like you know your cutesy or gory Halloween decorations. So I'll just show you this quickly because like I said it could change but maybe if you're trying to be a little bit more elegant or sophisticated for Halloween this will give you some ideas. So I almost always have some version of this place setting out. And by the way, my table has paint splatters on it. If you're seeing anything that looks like it's potentially dirty, it's just paint splatters. But if you've been here for a while, you know that and you know the story about this table. But anyways, I always have this jute placemat out. I have my Dollar Tree charger. These plates are actually new. They were a bridal shower gift. They're from Crate and Barrel. I will link them. And then so are these napkins. They were also a bridal shower gift and I thought the little pop of black on them was perfect for Halloween, but still elegant looking. And I thought it needed a little bit more black, so I just cut up some creepy cloth from Dollar Tree. I used one piece for this entire table and I'm, I just tied, um, tied that on there to be like a napkin ring. I also used my Dollar Tree um, like faux crystal goblets. They give me Victorian vibes, which kind of feels like a haunted house. And then um, to go along with that, I used these vintage amber cordial glasses. You guys told me that they're for cordials. I did not know that, but I feel like it just kind of ties in. And then my gold silverware from Target. As far as the centerpiece, I left out my fall pumpkins, my fall leaves, my fall table runner. I just added some creepy cloth on top of the fall table runner you can see. Cut it straight down the center long way so that I had enough to put down the table and then to tie on the napkins. And then I added black candlesticks. I took out my white ones and I put black ones in to give it really that kind of creepy, dark, mysterious Halloween vibe. So, and, and then I just have my real pumpkins out that I already had out on here for fall. So that is the tablescape. And like I said, I'm definitely going to decorate more for Halloween. I have a lot of stuff that I want to put in this room. And um, right now it's just really basic. I have more black candlesticks in the background. Um, I still have my bittersweet on the chandelier from my fall home tour. So you guys will have to let me know what you think and you will have to come back to see if I make this a little bit creepier or what I do with this room because I'm definitely adding a lot more to it. So I will probably post that video in the next week or two weeks for you guys to check out. Okay, you guys, so that was it for today's video. It was so nice to sit down and chit chat with you or at least it feels like I'm chit chatting with my friends even though I'm just talking to a camera. But I will be in the comments if you guys wanna uh, leave something down there. I will definitely get back to you and we can talk all things Halloween or maybe even Christmas upcoming Although I'm not quite there yet. Like I'm getting excited, but I'm I'm trying to soak in all the fallness still um, And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up again If you're coming over from Holly's channel, thank you so much for giving me a chance I hope you decide to subscribe 
and I will catch you guys in a future video. Bye now.